room 8008 Mr. G and Mary Queen Princess Slayer. Rocket City Rebels are coached by Hotnets, Sinner, Joe, and Wonder Friends. Thank you, Hot. I am Rainbow Spider, and I am introducing the Crown Row Scallywags. Running number 1007, Giraffe Attack. Number 1030, Luigi. Number 1969, Wet Row. Number 235, Radioactive. Number 36, Split Tone. Number 4345, Pack Rat. Number 444, Chalita. Number 451, The Captain, Fahrenheit. Number 511, Anarchy. Number 7, Pipes. Number 8008, Panic Attack. Number 9, Wind Runner. Number 93, Sway. The Sky Runs are coached by Sixty Star, Charlie Tanger, and Striker. Our skates officiating this game, we will have Cataclysm, Lethal Live, Rose Lambert, May the First, Bionic, Wolverine, Night Trotter, Purple Meat, and Mortal Kombat. Our own skates will have Top Shop, Ninja Sassam, Cataclysm, Genetic, Rough Draft, Danger Muffin, and Ethan Rats. Just a few minutes while here gets checked, cheers get made, and refs get into position. Something for me, Tom. We're good. All right, here we go. Tom, again, we're going to be here. Good afternoon. We're going to be here tonight on the south side. We're going to start here in a minute. All right, you're going to check if there's a big deal. It's going to be getting in position now. The first one's getting in position. We're going to get some joy. Just a second. All right, here we go. And if the crowd gets feisty enough, I heard PR do a special little dance. Maybe. You know, I have never seen PR dance, huh? He keeps talking about it, but he only does it for special occasions. I know. This might be a special occasion. Might be? Might be? Okay, well, if you don't dance in this game, you have to dance in my game. All right, that word whistle means we are going to come up on our first jam between the Rocket City Rebels and Cardinal Scallywags on the track four. Rocket City Rebels, we have 8008 Mr. G facing off against number seven, Pipes. And our jam is all up. Pipes quickly to the outside line gets taken out. Gonna have to reset. We thought we were going to have a lead jam in there, however, Mr. H is picking up a penalty, excuse me, Mr. G, for a forearm. And this pipes in a penalty jam for the Scallywags in the first jam of the game. Pipes being held up a little bit there by Revolver from Rockin City, but getting some help from the pivot. Pipes breaks her back to her, and she has three of the pack. It looks like lead was actually established by Mr. G before they received their penalty, so this will be a two minute jam. Pipes cannot call the jam, neither can Mr. G. This jam goes the full distance. Or maybe it doesn't? It looks like there's a little bit of confusion. Oh, the confusion here was is that the call off was not done correctly. You must Tap the hips with both hands a minimum of twice, and the hands must touch the hips. Uh, do not touch the hips. The jam ref cannot call the jam to a conclusion. Yes. Technical difficulties for Conroe in the first game, but that was four points up for Conroe. In the line for Rockin City, we have H, who is up quick and picking up lead. They are facing off again. Packrats. Packrats are here with the end of the run to the recycle. H coming through, looking to score their first points of the jam and get Rock Kings and Rebels on the board. Taking a quick hit there from the scouting bags and being recycled to the back of the pack. Just as Pepra is able to escape with a quick star stash. H picks up four points to match Conroy's score. 
Jammers entering the pack here. Pack Rock getting bumped out on the inside line by the Rockland City Weather Pokers. Mr. H doing a quick hop and call, making that a fourth. That's a great jam for both teams. A four jam, and that puts Rockland City on the board and ties up the score to 8-8. Eight, eight. On the line for Rockin' City, we have Mattyator. And I see one player that won the star of the corner. Mattyator attacking the pack, immediately looking for some space on the inside line, and is able to find a picking up lead from Rockin' City. Yep. Wind Runner had about behind the jam line, going to push her way through. Looking for daylight. Good pack mobility here and defensive movement from Rockin City. We will see them lose a blocker to the box for a direction of gameplay. Good apex jump, but they didn't quite land it, so Mediator recycles to the back and tries again to pick up the rest of the points. Windrunner still held up in the head of the pack, still on the initial. Windrunner, let it show the points of the box, leaves a player jump for Rockin City as Mediator picks up four more points. Apex jump there coming out of turn two for Maddie A. to get four more points for the Rockin' City Rebels. Nice offense by the Rockin' City Rebels there, getting Maddie A through for another foul, holding Conroe scoreless and icing their jammer in the box for a power start. That would be the first scoreless jam for Conroe during this game. It is also currently the highest scoring jam of the game with 16 points for Rockin' City Rebels. Rolling up to the line for Rockin' City Rebels, we've got Rainbow Darkness. Rainbow Darkness. Rainbow Darkness. Quick feed on the inside of the line. Rainbow Darkness has lead. The power jam, however, has come to a conclusion as Wink Runner is back on the track looking to complete the initial pass. So far, our four lead jams have gone to Rockin' City. Wind Runner still trying to find their way through the pack. Four points go up for Rainbow Darkness. Like a quick recycle there from the Rockin' City Rebel defense running. Windrunner to the back of the pack as Rainbow Darkness begins to take on the Scallywag defense here, coming into turn three. Scallywag defense tightening up some offense being played. We've got a completed star pass to Fan Hope, the captain. Oh, no, not yet completed. Not quite. Still stashed. A good duo work here from the Rock and City Rebels blockers. The pivot trying to keep Windrunner in the back as long as possible as Rainbow Darkness picks up another four points for the Rock and City Rebels. Windrunner getting knocked to the outside, going to cycle back behind H. Quick four points there from the Rainbow Darkness. That's a 16 point jam so far, which means if, if Rainbow Darkness completes another scoring pass, this will be the highest scoring jam of the game. They are being run back there by a giraffe attack from Connor Scallywags. Well, they decided to jump the apex, and I didn't risk it again, picking up four points, making this a 20 point jam for the Rockin' like City Rebels. And they just make a pretty good stop for us to find it. Looks like that is going to be a 23 point jam for the Rockin' like City Rebels, holding Conroe at their eight points. Time out called. Is that an official? Okay. Pia, what does our ra- uh, bracket look like for the rest of the day? It's 
it's great that I asked you a question that I didn't give you the resources to be able to answer. <laughs> I can at least tell you what the next game is before we're looking at this. We do have game, uh, I believe it's seven, which is Rapid City Rebels of Dark versus Triple oh, D's God. Army of Darkness. That's right. A big shout out and thank you to Sideline Orthopedics, who are our Texas Health Sports Medicine and Medics for these games. They keep all of our skaters safe and make sure everyone has a great time and plays safely. We see the skater returning to their bench on their own power. Again, a huge shout out to our medics. March 29th, they take over Kevin Craig, and the free play in Arlington. You want to check it out and see what it's all about? Come on over there, get it, but there's a couple of, of, of machines over there in the back. They're all free play, and you play Kevin Craig. It's a really, really fun game. I played it yesterday for a while. It's really enjoyable, so if you're going to be in town on March 29th, head on over to free play, and get it to uh, Triple D, and they're going to take over at free play. Let's give a big shout out here to our photographers and videographers this weekend here at Clover Cup. We have Quentin Campbell, Owen Fisher, Melon Weber, Michelle Hale, Robert Bird, Daniel Moore, Jennifer Weber, Miranda Howard, Robert Gutierrez. We have Roy from Hesper TV, Mike Amos, Andrew Gamble, Zach Beasley, and in memoriam, Ray Funk. Space on the outside, but getting caught up on what 
Both side of that is brought to us by our friends at WSL Leadership. They have a lot of uh, boot camp and they have a sponsor for the Cobra Cup. You can get to the side of the 60-minute advice and this is a consultation for Cobra Cup students, coaches, and officials, a little bit of a little set. They have a special one of $100 and a lot of them have 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 a lot of them to get that great deal for Cobra Cup, 50% off a 60-minute advancing consultation. Also want to be a great sponsor for Radiant Hydration. They are over there in the Bender Brothers providing IV hydration and vitamin drugs for that week and milk. You must book in advance to reserve your appointment and to complete your own life for one week. Five different packages you can get. Uh, ranging from $30 to $159 to $169, depending on what you want to get. But they have some awesome services over there. Check out Radiant Hydration. The red whistle means the timeout is concluded, and we're about to see some more derby on the line for Rock City Rebels. We have Wicked Butterfly facing off against Conroe. Hey, Grant, for Conroe. Both our jammers are up here looking for some space to get out and take lead for themselves. Getting a quick run back on top from the Rocket City Rebel Pit. That's huge hit out there from a giraffe attack. I think I felt the sport court move on that one. That one hurt a little. I felt it in my bones. Another big hit now going to lose the Rocket City Rebel. Jam to the box. We have a power jam for Cornwall. Pack that one. Pack that one with Star. I believe the call on... That's only the second lead jam for Conroe in this game. Packrat will call off the jam, freezing Rebels in the box and giving a chance for a fresh jammer to come out and make some space. And on the jam line for Conroe, we'll see Wind Runner taking on that power jam opportunity. Five seconds is called. Windrunner off the line. Getting some offense down there by her blockers as Rapid City Rebel speeds the pack up slightly. Connor with a slight pack advantage here, but having trouble getting past the pivot for Rapid City Rebels, H. Windrunner getting taken to the outside by Age, coming south of behind. Multiplayer block being called on Rainbow Darkness. And Windrunner got wind of in the front here, and great job work on the line, but quick recycling. Windrunner caught up on Revolver from Rapid City Rebel as the tripod's able to bring Brown coming into turn four. Offensive work done being put up by Fahrenheit. Power Jim is over with, and Spooky Butterfly rejoins the fly. And Lead is still open, I believe. Windrunner has been declared lead. And that's the third lead jammer status of the game. A smart call out there, holding that score to 0 0. Double donuts. I want donuts. I want donuts too. Can somebody bring the announcer in here? I want donuts. donuts. It's so quick in the afternoon. Who okay. cares? It's Saturday. No one cares. Do we have one of those burgers with the donuts? Exactly. Calories don't count at Derby tournaments. That's right. We use so many of them. On the line for Rock and City Rebels, we have Mr. G facing off against Conrad's. I believe that is Giraffe Attack in Giraffe Attack's first appearance with the star. We've seen some incredible blocking from Giraffe Attack thus far. But we are going to see the lead go to Mr. G. Losing H to the box of Rocket City Rebels for a four-on call. Lots of whistles looking to see what's going on here. Rocket City Rebels is going to lose another blocker to the box here. Giraffe Attack clear on the initial. Pack advantage for Conroe. Oh. Giraffe Attack up there. You weren't kidding. Feet at the top, playing it safe and recycling just in case to make sure they don't get a cut. 
as Mr. G comes through and picks up another four points. A formidable two way by Rock and City Rebels here. Draft Attack decides, you know what, I think I'm going to balk and try and stop this. Go ahead. Jack is being popped up by the Rebels broker. Rolling really clever with the party jam. Draft Attack running the store. And that lead jam of this year will go the distance. Quick hit out and run back there by H from Rockin City. Both teams have a full contingent of blockers here for Giraffe Attack to work with and against. Giraffe Attack looking for some daylight. You can see some quick O here trying to get some room for Giraffe Attack on the inside line. As our power jam comes to a close, Mr. G returns to the track. We got a star pass to Paul Cole. Paul Cole cycling to the rear of the pack quickly. Moves too quickly from around two feet and meet with a few blocking starlings of H. The last rainbow madness. Conroe here deciding to hold off, trying to give any more points to Lock and City and going to a five blocker contingent. 16, 15 to 4 on the GM in favor of Rocket City Rebels. Just as Rocket City crosses the century mark. That was Conroe's first points since GM5. Let's see if they can turn around with Fairy Boy on the line, jamming for the Scary Rags. We have Mediator for Rocket City Rebels. This is Fairy Boy's first time running the star off the line. He has taken a few surpasses, but never jammed. Never hand, but on from the beginning. Some strong work here in the back of the pack from the Conroe Rangers. As Aaron Wright gets a pass, but he's not laid as there was a no pass, no penalty situation, meaning that Aaron Wright was unable to pass all of the blockers legally before escaping the pack. But he took to the air, but uh, missed the landing. That'll be a 0 0 jam, though. Another 0 0 jam. We've got Rainbow Darkness taking our lead runner. And our jammers are off here. Both jammers engaged in the tripod. Rainbow Darkness exhibiting some what we like to call happy feet on that inside line and picking up lead for the Rocket City Rebels. Direction of game plan being pulled on Revolver. Rainbow Darkness, I'm told, is two for two on lead jammer statuses. Rainbow Darkness using their blockers to barrel through that in line, inside line as Windrunner is looking for some space on the on the track here as we come into turn three. They've got Windrunner shut down here in turn three. Rainbow Darkness finds the outside line and takes off. Four more points for Rainbow Darkness. Windrunner getting run back line. Number 227, Wicked Birthday, the puppet for Rock and City. See a big outpitch down there from Rainbow Darkness out of turn four, picking up their four points and cruising along untouched. With Rebel getting recycled behind Wicked Butterfly, so that's one on one being played by Wicked Butterfly. Rainbow Darkness has a whistle. Headed to the box. Love Lock, hanging the third power jam for. I did not see the hand side on a wind runner. This will be a very short power jam for Rock and City as the Conroe Jammer is already back on the track in that jammer swap. Wind runner not sitting very long either. Power jam or Jammers looking for some space here as a bit of a kerfuffle happens in turn two. Rainbow Darkness out picking up four more points. Making this the highest scoring jam of the game with 24 points for Rockin City Rebels. Thank you, Hulk. Welcome to the microphone, Susan Blazer of Rockin City. Girl. On the line for 
Pink Panther not going to the inside. The points go up for Wicked Butterfly. The star has been passed to Pack Rat uh, Fonro. I got a pack jump that's worth a wicked butterfly. She got those wings in my skates today. I, I wish I could fly like that. Maybe I'd get extra sky miles. Oh, I'm going to get the right way. I'm pressing hard on that apex jump. Come on, the kind of athleticism it takes to make those kinds of hard jumps. That's not an easy thing. If you, uh, if you have like a biscuit or, you know, pop tart above my bed, I might be able to jump that high, but my left and out puts the hold up. That's true. Now, I'm, t- I'm told that's the second 24 point jam in this game, tying the highest scoring jam of the game. Wow! Amazing job. That happened. We can see the Rebels feel number 619 Pink Lightning once more taking on the Skywags. Number 235. That is reactive. Radioactive pushing quiet on that jammer line, but Pink Lightning takes lead jammer. Pink Lightning 100% back up as a lead jammer status. Pink Lightning is, uh, you missed this, trip, this game last night. Pink Lightning for nothing jammer for the Rebels. I recall a few years ago, actually, when I was when I was skating with Rockin' City and I was helping with this kind of announcing thing, um, Pink Lightning was a name that I remember saying quite a bit. Uh, she was not quite as tall at that time. That's true. I recall the same. It's interesting watching juniors go up before your very eyes through the derby world, and I want to see where the derby takes pink lightning in the future. I, I see big things. I see great things. I see great things. All right. It looks like Rocket City has beautiful disaster on the line. Scallywags have the jammer in the box. Some of the power start by for the Rebels. I, I didn't catch that as a penalty there. I missed that happen. Looks like that's on the blocker in as well. So, Pack and Vegas to the Rebels with their power start. Nice defensive action happening, but out comes beautiful disaster as Lee Jammer. I think it's hard to, it's hard to get through when you've got these power, power gems and then you've got a pack advantage as well. I've said Connor's got to fight for him. Power jam over as Connor's jam rejoins the fight. A little play like we are in the apex. Radioactive hit the back of that, hit the back of the uh, Rocket City pack pretty, pretty strongly. Take a little extra caution and come back behind. Four points up for beautiful disaster. Oh, that, that was an easy hit. Y'all sound happy. Ready to act to the pack on the initial. City Rebels, his captain of the team. Oh, oh. and Savage through the pack on the inside line takes the jammer before the pivot line. Aaron Height fighting away with one to beat. They are two to beat. Gonna recycle to be safe for him. Pink Lightning. Tippy tippy toes for him. Savage gets through the pack for four points. Aaron Height made it out of the pack on her scoring pass. Savage. Very high quality through that inside line, but was 
Mountain to the middle. Second one, slide into the penalty box. Looks like Fahrenheit received a catch back penalty and is in the box. Savage! Four points go up for Savage! Another power jam situation for Rockland City. Um, this could mean a lot. You guys have the opportunity to whack that lead. Final uh, swimmer tried to put a stop to her reign, but unfortunately, it was just she was just too powerful. Just too powerful. He's good. And Paragis of Arthur has part of Scalyland's fire height. Now she wins the scrum. Dragon City pulling her back pretty far. And up to the outside by Pink Panther. Very high recently once more. And Jam Timer Machine signals the end of that jam. We'll see you back in about 15 minutes after this intermission. Thank you very much. Let's hear for your teams. Mom is 72. Yeah, she won't. Family talk over here on the microphone. Susan Bruiser being my Rainbow Spites real life sister. If our real life mom was here, we all three of us left the same. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's not something you notice until it's pointed out to you by someone else. <laughs> all right, into the second half. We do not yet have the rolling whistle. Oh, there's the whistle. Wicked Butterfly on the line for the Rebels. We have Strat on for Conroe. Thank you. And Wicked Butterfly taking lead, Jammer. Pack Rat still finding their way through the pack. Being recycled back by Rainbow Darkness. Even Wicked Butterfly got 
recycle recycled back from the inside. Yep. Whistles blow. Someone's headed to the penalty box. Penalty box is not yet sponsored, so if you wanted to be a late sponsor to the Clover Cup, you could sponsor the penalty top box. Look at that one. I put that four points. Revolver in for an unknown penalty at this time. Looking at the penalty tracker. No one in major put penalty trouble. We've got two Rockin' City cups with four, but no one with five or six. Look at Butterfly recovering quickly from being knocked hard to the inside. Uh oh, radioactive headed to that penalty box. Puts Skellywags down one blocker. Pipeline, Toby Pipe on the initial courtesy of a star stash. Pipe was the original jammer. She just was. Getting ready. She was thinking about it. Thinking about Star Pack. Jammer defense happened over straight away. Uh oh. Wicked Butterfly headed to the penalty box. Oh, and Backpack leaves Pickwright with a power jam, putting four points on the board for the steering lines. And with that. Looks like Connor has a full complement of blockers. End of that jam. Rock and City picking up 20 points. Connor picking up four. On the jam line, starting with this power strut, we have got pipes on rock for Connor. It'll be interesting to see if pipes can make it through and get lead before the jet power jam is over with. So that was 15 seconds. It's on the penalty clock for Rockin' City's jammer. Pipe's getting some overwork done there by her blockers. Going to get recycled to the rear of the pipe. That is H on the callback. Uh oh. Headed to the box for a track cut as Wicked Butterfly is released. We now have a power jam in the other direction. It's still anyone's game, though. There's no lead calls. I'll tell you just now. What the hell is it? Did you see that? That was... I got this. I got this. <laughs> Setting up in the corner, almost to the straightaway. The blockers for Conroy move it forward just a little bit to get out of that corner. Wicked Butterfly making it through for four more points. She recovered after getting knocked to the inside by Little G. Power jam over as Conroe's jammer out of the box. Pipes wait, looking to see if they can make it clear of the pack. Pipes made a pretty, pretty rough hit on Revolver. A penalty called on Conroe's uh, pivot. For directional, that's number 444 for Cholita. Interesting fact about Cholita of Cairo that is Lola Chola's daughter. If you know Lola Chola, you know Cholita. Direction of gameplay being called on and Slay. He will head to the penalty box to sit for 30 seconds. Uh, level of being assessed on panic attack. Panic attack will sit for 30 seconds as well. And that jam did go the distance. 16 points for the Rockin' City Rebels. Nothing for Conroe on that on that round. Rockin' City Fields, beautiful disaster on the line and pack rat for Conroe. For those of you listening on the live feed, you can rewind and see it all over again in beautiful high def, that courtesy of Deep Down Sports Network. I feel as if finds a hole on the outside. Back right through the pack, 
clear on the initial. That was a fantastic attempt by Slade to get on the outside, but unfortunately, beautiful disaster is slippery. All right, Pack Pat is out on the inside line. That jam leads 12 points for Rocket City Rebels, while Cargo picks up four. Shout out to Sugar Spike on the land chat. Hey, Sugar, how you doing? What's up, homie? We got we got Smash Room for Rock and City, and Chalita for the Scallywags. But this timeout has been called. This timeout is brought to you by Rose and Nancy Bell, which is sponsored by the Bar of the Ball. Attention, business owners, ready to take your business to new heights. The Bar of the Ball designs offer tailored marketing solutions and comprehensive to support to help you stand out in the competitive market. Don't wait, start today. There's a special deal you can find it at the Bar of the Ball Designs dot com forward slash Clover twenty four. The Bar of the Bar of the Ball Designs. Really quick, I want to tell you about a special we have for you. Thirty dollars off all of the drips. Drips include a free appointment with our practitioner. It took approximately one hour, so plan accordingly. While we were listening to Muffin tell us about some awesome stuff, we missed a rendition of Taylor Swift by Rainbow Spikes. Next time, I will turn my microphone on. <laughs> and Smash Mouth, don't have to for me, Jim. Once again, Lincoln, you missed it on that outside line. Mr. G, a little slow getting up there, but oh, she gets. Rocky City bridge forward quite a bit for that. And she was able to single him out and push him through. Smash room through the back nine, touched. Four points for Smash Room. I never really got good at seeing all those little teeny tiny holes, which is probably why I stayed still. So let me through the front. That one to be gets taken out there by. Rainbow Dark is going to recycle way out of back. Big pack, pack, big pack advantage to Rocket City Rebels as the blockers for the Skylines are doing the do si do in the penalty box. Fairlight back on the track. Playing a little bit of offense there for Chalita. Chalita going hard, going down hard on the inside. Recycling behind Mr. G. Yes. Pink Panther, Pink Panther made that big hit toward the inside for Chalita. Smash room through the pack for four more points. This is now time for the highest scoring jam of the game. 24 seconds left on this jam. Through again for another four for Smash Room. Chalita. This is now the highest scoring jam of the tournament for so far. 28, 32 points for Smash Room. And that jam went the distance. Two minutes. Two, two minutes for 32 points for Rocket City Rebels. The highest scoring jam in this tournament thus far. The Rebels did score four points on that jam. Brings the total to the corner of 40. Rocket City Rebels, 303. And who we got on the line, Bowser? I see Savage. Savage. Official review. Official review has been called. This official review is brought to you by our sponsors. Don't forget to check out Brooding Thunder, Box Games, Room Chicks, Defender the Ball Designs, WSL Leadership, Run Up On, Free Play, Rock to Press, Art and Jewelry, Blue Massage, Primary Wellness, Man Limbs, Loop Box, Power Smith, Pipe Dot Designs, Good Foot Skates, Radiant IV, Strong Athletic, 
Happy to do us. God bless Jonah Girls. Chip Cat and Roller Revival and Ritz Safety. And a partridge in a pear tree. And a partridge in a pear tree, that's right. <laughs> if you are in venue, go check out our vendor merchant booths over at our vendor village. You can get yourself some DDD merch. Visiting team merch if they've set up over there. Blood and Thunder merch. Free play. And go play yourself some video games. Oh, yeah. Blue massage and crime in your wellness. Blue will fill up for the weekend. If she has not already, go check her out. She did my shoulders for like 30 seconds yesterday and worked the knot out so fast. It was like miracles. Miracles happened over here. You know, with all, with all the stuff we had to do, the traffic this morning was outrageous coming in from Austin. And uh, I could sure use a massage. Blue was a miracle worker. And away I go. <laughs> and away I go. Don't forget, you can also check out Polly Smith, the Crank Dad, the Foot Skates. Get you some nice gear over there from Fred Zilla, whose birthday was yesterday. Happy belated birthday, Fred Zilla. Mommy and Tom B to get you some hydration and some B vitamins over there. Strong Athletic is over there. Debbie Doodles with some really cute t shirts and designs. And Chip Cat and Roller Revival as well. Well, you, and I wanted to say, by the way, before we get finished on that uh, birthday celebration, um, Rapid City's Coach Joe has a birthday this weekend. Happy birthday, Coach Joe. Happy birthday, Coach Joe. So, the Rapid City River is playing right around the Rossi. Oh, it looks like H lost. <laughs> Dancing. Wait, that's not, that is more like a. Uh, Merry go round type situation. Oh, yeah. Let's see who's speaking off the floor first. All uh, right. We're on the official review in front of uh, quick producer Nothing Temple. Hello. So, White is looking for a penalty on the blue blocker. The White is doing some scoring, but they will not retain the review. Uh 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 uh. Looks like they're getting some, a little additional explanation from our ref there. That is Kilchip. Thank you, Kilchip, and all of our referees and officials for being here. We appreciate you greatly. All of the folks here. This production took a lot more than just our officials. We've got non skating officials, too. We've got our vendors, production team. Thank you to everybody for putting all this hard work. Yes, Robert Cup would not be here without our volunteers. People are jamming for us, the Scallywags. But then once again, that is sad. I'm just for the rebels. Yes. Uh oh, someone headed to the penalty box for a boo-boo. But our faction of Kai, the penalty box will be set in by Savage. It said that was a forearm penalty for Savage. No. Did not see the hand signal? No. That was it. Power jam for Conroe. Just what Conroe needs to make up some of this point differential. Pack my jamming for Conroe at this time. Still working on the initial pass. Larry into that apex. Uh oh, Pack Rat headed to the penalty box. Gonna do a little jam or switch your room. Savage back in, man. That was a direction. With jammer penalties, if you aren't aware, the second jammer will always sit as long as the first jammer did when they have to switch out like that. Yeah, it's not a full penalty. Not the full 30 seconds. Not the full 30 seconds. Savage clear on the initial. Oh, and looking for points. <laughs> We're going to shout out all the line tracks. That's Rainbow Guy. Good for real. Thank you, Nathan. He says. Conroe's Walker Slave is holding really tightly, making sure she doesn't get through. But she got through. Four points up for the Rocket City Rebels. Power jam over. Packlet rejoined the fray. Packlet goes down outside of turn two. Going to reset the wheel on the way back behind H. You turn, nope, that's Rainbow Darkness in turn one. Where is that H? That's H. That's H. 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 I don't recognize them with the helmets on them just yet. I don't get to call the juniors very often. It's actually quite an interesting experience for me. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. This is a lot of fun. Everybody here has a lot of fun, too. So 
That's right. Princess Leia jamming for the Rockham City Rebels. We've got Pipes jamming for the Scaling Rags. Impact braces for impact. Sammy, no, sorry, Princess Slayer through the back as Lady Jammer. And she found that, that she found that little tiny little sliver of a line on the outside, made it through that way there. You know who doesn't get enough love? Our videographer, keeping our live stream going. Thank you to the Dickhead Sports Network keeping that live stream rocking and rolling for us. Our third definition on the YouTubes. Four points going for Princess Slayer. By still fighting that fucking city wall. Destruction of Pack being called. Now on Rockin' City's Lil G. Lil G gonna take a seat for 30 seconds. Gonna break them. Four more points go up for Princess Slayer. Pipes having a hard time there in the back of the pack. Gonna play a little defense rather than jam strategically placed. Now Pipes back to jamming action. I think with everything, the little Loji from Conroe getting set up for the penalty box it creates an interesting, interesting pack advantage for Rockin' City. Princess Slayer once again through the pack for four points. Let's hear it for Princess Slayer! Thank you to our uh, wonderful audience here keeping track as we keep going. I always love it when they participate with us. And that ends this jam. Has Rockin' City picking up 16 points. Widening that lead just ever so slightly. Looks like on the line we have Windrunner for Conroe and Smushroom for Rockin' City. Smushroom the last time was up. Smushroom was up. They put up the highest scoring jam of the tournament. Highest scoring jam of the tournament. Do you think they can do it again? I think it's possible. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Side pipes takes running right into the back of Rockin' City, hitting hard. But Wicked Butterfly is out in your lead jammer. Rockin' City. Oh, Fancy footwork puts Wicked Butterfly on the inside line, skating through for picking up four points for Rockin' City. Another big thank you to Russia Standing here. Thank you to Debella Debella. First of all, it's going to be an outdoor Check out Debella Debella Designs for your uh, business's online presence. Looks like Rocket City's pivot picking up in a penalty. Oh, Rocket Butterfly attempts to the air for five more points. Hey, Angie, Rocket Butterfly. Well, 
power points up for Wicked Butterfly. You know, they say you get a, you, you, you get by with a little help from your friends, and that is absolutely the case. Butterfly taking full advantage of their friends. Wicked Butterfly goes out here in turn three. Someone's getting a high block, but it will be Ellie Pipes. Pipes with the high block. I've seen a few high blocks today, not just in this game. Wicked Butterfly ending that jam. Freezing pipes in the box. Gonna start with the power start. Who's taking the line now, Scissor? Looks like we have Savage for Rockin' City with power advantage start. Having a little powwow. It's official timeout. Ooh. This official timeout is going to go Paris Hill. Currently, the main site is on Facebook. It's Paris Hill 3D Prints. P O L Y S M F 3 the letter D Prints. And the site is a Shopify site, also Paris Hill 3D. dot myshopify. dot com. And they do 3D 3D printing, skating accessories, and awards. So that's very exciting and needed for all of us, because all of us love roller derby, right? I want to talk about Dee Padillo. It's a leadership coach, and he special he has special offers for Clover Cup attendees. But he can help you manage conflicts, developing strong leaders, dealing with sticky interpersonal situations, keeping your best people happy, so you can do awesome work. He's out for a 30 minute conversation. So go to wsoleadership.com forward slash contact and mention the code CloverCup30. WSLLeadership.com forward slash contact. And that is for Iggy Pedio. Don't forget to save the date, March 28th. The Dallas Joey Devils new skater and official orientation is at 7 p.m. at Forum Roller World. Session start Monday, April 11th. Visit www.derbydevils.com for more information on joining the Dallas Derby Devils, our lovely hosts. There's also a raffle. Who feels like winning? Do you feel lucky? There is a DDD raffle at the merch booth. Buy your pick tickets now, $5 each or 5 for 20 The proceeds help support the Dallas Derby Devils Army of Darkness, the Battalion of Doom, and the Rolling Rebellion. It will help them get to Southern Discomfort in Columbia, South Carolina, April 20th to 21st. So that is more tournament action in the lovely South. Gratitude for our Medix sideline health. Thank you so much for being here. We hate to put you to work, but we're so glad you're keeping us safe. Thank you so much to sideline orthopedics. Hazel to catch track maintenance personnel. Hello to Crank Dad from Crank Dad Designs. Thank you for coming to say hello. I got a t shirt made by Crank Dad that is the highest of qualities, the best of printing. Check out Crank Dad Designs. Rolling Whistle brings us back to the action. All right, Savage started that gem. Again, we're starting with a power jam advantage for Rockin' City. 
Savage finding through that inside line as your lead jammer. Rocket City blockers ready to sweep the Scallywags out of the way of Savage. And Savage takes total advantage coming through for four points. Ooh, little hop, skip, and a jump right over that edge there. Oh, power jump over. Pipes rejoins the free. Connor doing some blocking and water falling around, keeping Savage in lockdown. They have got pipes locked down tight, moving inch by, I'm sorry, that's not pipes. That is Fahrenheit, who took over sitting for pipes due to, I believe, uh, medical. Fahrenheit through the pipe on the inside, here on the initial. Force the call off there by Savage. Rocket City picking up eight points for that jam. Some impressive walls uh, showing up with these juniors. Uh, some of these juniors could really compete with some adult walls that we've seen. Thank you to Demon Corolla for pointing that out on the live chat. Definitely vouch for that. These, uh, these juniors, uh, they look, they're small but mighty. Mr. G jamming for the Rocket City Rebels. Red Runner jamming for the Scallywags. Interesting to note, we are going to have a Texas Trifecta reunion on the next game. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This is the Hey, I Thought You Retired Clover Cup. Mr. G in the penalty box giving Conroe a power jam advantage. Oh, one runner almost making it through, getting a little tap there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you're not out of bounds there, just a little swoopy swoop, but if you're out of bounds, you're out of bounds, and it counts. I have to say it was smooth, though. Smooth yeah, like smooth. Uh, oh, yes. But that's going to release Ricky Bell's right back into the pot. Rocket City Rebels in sweep formation, opening up that inside line for a wicked butterfly very effectively. She had butterfly got hit to the inside. Butterfly making it on the outside line through the pack by the grace of good balance and abdominal muscles, which I have neither. Nope, no abdominal muscles. Don't need collagen either. Oh, a sweet attempt. Speaking of abdominal muscles, Wicked Butterfly falling flat on the abdominal muscles, getting called back behind Scary Wags Blogger. Giraffe attack with that big hit to the outside. Oh, lifted off the ground, big hit on Pack Rat. Beautiful disaster. We'll pay for that by with 30 seconds in the penalty box. You gotta hit him legal. If you're gonna hit him big, you gotta hit him legal. And that's two minutes, folks. That was an exciting, exciting jam. Lots of stuff happening there. Yes. Uh, Rocket City only picked up four points on that. Yes, there was quite a lot of uh, kerfuffle for four points. Indeed. Like I said, some of these worlds can compete with the adults. And both of, both teams are starting with one blocker in the penalty box. And this is a we've got both jammers on the line, so properly starting. We've got Windhunter Jimmy for the Scallywags. Mediator for Rocket City on the inside line is choose your lead jammer. Mediator. Take it to the skies! Did I predict the future? No, I just said her name at the right time. <laughs> Mediator. Is that, is that the taglines or something? I don't remember. I don't know. It's just <sighs> premonition. Mediator on the inside line, untouched with a steady step. Four points. Windrunner pushing hard on those Rocket City Rebels blockers, not getting very far from being assessed on Rocket City blocker scroll. That looks like that was a forearm penalty, is that right? Windrunner is out of the pack, able to score points. Forearm being assessed on Rocket City Rebels jam, a mediator leaves Windrunner with a power jam. Power jam for Congo. And the pack advantage to Congo as well. One blocker in the box for Rocket City. Yeah. Red Runner going to recycle 20 whole feet. That's like about 20 feet, you think? Roundabout. Roundabout. Pink Panther. Pink Panther means the, the pulling back all the way to the end here. Red Runner around one, two. Goes out with number two. Get ahead. <laughs> That sounded wrong. <laughs> Go back once again, 20 feet behind the behind the jammer line. All right, and Rocket City's pack is complete once more. Oh, my butterflies got some fans in the live chat. Love to see it. We love to see it. Maybe we're back into the front through the pack for four points. Two minutes has elapsed, and that was oh, jam. That was like down to the down to the line, down to the second. Yep. Mediator grabbing those points, and, but we'd rather not lead. Could not call that jam. That's true, can't. But still, timeout being called. This timeout brought to you by our vendor village. Go check out our vendor village. Get your merchandising, 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 merchandise. It's where the real money from the tournament is made. DDD merch over there. You've got some visiting team merch. Oh, we're rolling our mic to catch it. Hello, everyone. When gameplay is going on, the only individuals in the building who will be blowing whistles are the scouting officials. We can't have the time and focus on that jam, but it will not happen again. Thank you. Y'all have catch it. Keep it together. Don't blow whistles. Shame, shame, shame. By the way, Kelcher, if you ever want a place on the mic to call a game, you totally got what I love your voice. Yes, absolutely agree. Uh, and also, if you want to blow whistles, you can volunteer. We have positions for that. Yes, we got skates and officials. 
if you want to blow whistles. We have we have whistle blowing officials without skates on. That's true. Not skating officials. The jam timer will blow the whistle. Thank you to Ross Slam Bowl blowing the whistle and timing the jam for this game. Anyway, H is on the line for Rocket City pushing through, and Pack Rat is on for Pyro. H coming through lead jammer. Back left being called. On, I believe that is, oh, I can't see the number from here. Is that Pipes? I think that's Pipes. Good to see you back down. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation, Pipes. We appreciate it. Oh, I hear that Pipes, or, sorry, H has got a modified derby pedigree. Oh, tell me. H is the son of Cinefold from Rocket City. This is Cinefold's son. Excellent. That is a derby pedigree if I ever had one. I have this coaching. Yes, I know I know we have another one out. Uh, Spushroom is also um, pedigree from Rocket City. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Hey, adults, if you're skating this tournament, no adults can be on skates while the juniors are on the floor. Stay in your locker room. Yes, as a topper, do not take the floor until you are just instructed to do so. If you are an adult that is skating, do not skate while the juniors are skating. It is against the rules. Looks like H is in the penalty box. Uh-oh, or Rockin' City. Little G. We've got some fans over here, but Pike Rock's the one jamming for us. Rockin' City's back, they're speeding up the pack just a little. It looks like Pike is trying to give some uh, offensive help on the inside line. Oh! Okay. Jam was called, but not before H to fly out of the penalty box and over the apex for four points. That makes a total of 20 points for Rocket City for that jam. Conroe picking up at a eight points. For the buckets for the Rocket City Rebels. 58 for Conroe. I'm moving, I'm moving right along here. Only got 220 left in this half. We've got Rainbow of Darkness. On the line for Rocking City and Fahrenheit for Conroe. Who's our lead jammer? Rainbow Darkness. He was so fast I didn't even see him. Fahrenheit through the pack and clear on the initial. Rocking City is not too far behind. A little hot there from Fahrenheit. That's Conroe for the points. That was a lovely little jump. Rainbow Darkness puts up four more points and gets goes off the jam. That was an amazing jump on Fahrenheit. I don't I don't think I could do that if I tried on my regular feet without skates on. That's true. Without a trampoline. That's that's that's, that's true. I got no ups. <laughs> I got no ups. <laughs> Joey's attack wearing the star for Conroe. Let me take it on Pink Lightning. Pink lightning with the lightning bolt on the back of the jersey, you see? I see. Pink lightning. Through the inside, straight through the pack, like she's covered in oil. Pink lightning jamming like she was born to it. She's been doing it a minute. I recall that. That's quite a bit of a little bumpity bump. The whistle's blowing here. Uh oh. Looks like. Giraffe attack headed to the penalty box. There, that, Pivot. That's also. a track cut call. Pivot is also in the box. And then we have one Rockin' City blocker in the box. And we do have one foul out, one at risk of a foul out. Doesn't stop Pink Lightning. Does not. Uh, are you shocked? <laughs> <laughs> Pink Lightning with the curl off, but not before picking up four more points. Thank you to Ruff Cataclysm for those points. Timeout called by Cairo. This timeout brought to you by Crank That Designs. Crank That, a Dallas Derby Devils player owned and operated design juggernaut. 
Well, I want her to be a juggernaut. I want her to get more business because you know what? She puts out some good stuff. I agree. I have seen, I have seen said stuff. Um, so much to say. But yes, absolutely check out Frank Dad Designs and, you know, tell them, tell them that Suzer and Spite sent you. Yes. Yeah, ready? Suzer and Spite sent, sent you also to develop the ball designs. Thank you to, de- thank you. Thank you to develop the ball designs for sponsoring the announcer booth. Yes, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you to develop the ball designs for uh, Buffa Tea for Buffa Tumble. I am envious. And Slaughtermelon, who was in the house yesterday. Did you see Slaughtermelon? I did not see Slaughtermelon. If I had seen Slaughtermelon, I'd gotten a hug. I know, I love her. I miss I, her so much. Yes, I, yes. You know, yes. that's that's one of the great things about Derby. We love each other so much. I Yeah, I, I've, been, uh, I've been missing some folks for a minute. I'm back. Yeah, we can't love everyone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> for the next 14 seconds. Forget we have another game coming up. Game number seven. Very exciting, so don't go anywhere. Full day of derby, day two of Clover Cup. With that whistle, our jam starts again. Rock and City having a power jam start. Puts through. Mr. G is your lead jammer. Mr. G, four points out, looking for signals from the sideline. Mediator putting some big hits. Savage. Not a bridge there. Not a giraffe attack off the outside. What round? Swarm called on. Split tone. Mediator headed to the penalty box for a direction. I'm sorry, that was destruction. Four points go up for Mr. G. It almost looks like Mr. G is meditating as they come around. I think I think that's that's accurate. Yes. The other thing too is the way that they shifted and kind of bent over. That was an incredible spin. One toe stop inbounds. Inbounds. Keeping, keeping that safe. That was not that type of Mr. G. Maybe they should get a sponsorship like from Bionic Super Stoppers or something like that. Whatever they use. Yes. Absolutely. Who plays golf for Kamu? I think it's Star Pass to Pat. Pack rats kind of booking it, going quite, quite quickly, quite with the quickness. But doesn't Mr. G just steps right over and away, continuing on. Jam is running, going the full distance on this one, I think. This is Jam is on Jam time now, period clock is over with. Mr. G. Mr. G. Thank you, Susan. On a fresh score, Rocket City Rumble is 455, the Conroe is 70. 72. Now let's remind, quick reminder, after you get your high five, some new juniors, the juniors need to clear the floor as quickly as possible and meet us over by the banners for MVPs. Wait until the officials are off the floor before you come off. Yeah. And that score is official. Rapid City Rebels 459. Camera 72 in stereo. It was a, a hard fought battle. That was an, a very intense match. Very intense match. Come on, on get your high five some juniors. Don't forget stickers. Also, friendly reminder again for any adult skaters, please do not be out on the track if there are juniors still on skates. That's a big time no no. 